Hey you, welcome to Sims 3 Island Paradise. Um, you know, with this whole houseboat thing that's been kind of weaving its way through my life this last while, I'm thinking, let's build a houseboat. Come on, I mean, duh. Now, I'm not even sure how to do this yet, so you get to find out with me. Now, one thing we've noticed in the last, um, see this, the, the, the lot goes out in the water. So we can both build houseboats and we can build houses that are out on the water on stilts and things like that. So, you know, maybe we can build our own docks and put our little boats beside it. I don't know if we can do a houseboat that way because that would be the ultimate cool, right? But I don't know if we've gone that far yet. So there's, as far as I can figure, I don't think we can put a houseboat on that. Now, I did notice something kind of weird. Um, and I will, sh no, not bulldozer. Uh, no, this one. In the world editor, you can put lots down in the middle of wherever. I don't know what you can do with that. I don't know if you can go in there and make it into a reef. I mean, clearly a house isn't going to work out all that well underwater. I don't know what that means or if that's just another little weird thing that, yeah, whatever. But for now, we're just going to figure out how to build a houseboat. And as far as I understand, see there is a dock. Now, it seems to indicate there's a bit of land there that you can use. I don't know if that's actually true or not. Um, because when we were looking at the houseboats the other night, it didn't seem that you could do anything off the boat. But select a houseboat. We have a drop-down menu. Oh, we have different kinds. Barges. Ooh, big barges. Now the lot size, now what is the lot size? Is that it there? Okay, 25 by 50. So we could put one of these huge ones on it. Um, a curve, oh, oh my gosh. So, hmm. Well, we'll do that one next. For now, let's just take a nice big one, give us lots of room to experiment and mess around and see what's gonna happen. And, and it looks like we just planted a houseboat. I hope so we can select this I'm just in in uh, like world edit mode here I'm so you can change this you could turn it into whatever you, oh an apartment cool um, I got an apartment houseboat with like little places all over there was a houseboat for sale out in Victoria actually and that's how they were selling it that it was big enough to have an apartment on the bottom and an apartment upstairs so it's kind of fun and you could turn it into any of these things. So you could have a dance club on a boat. I like it. I think that would be so cool. But we're just going to do this for now. Um, and get in there and let's see what we can do. Because I don't have a clue. So wait for the game to load forever and ever and ever. Break time. <laughs> and here we go. So the first thing I'm wondering is if we have this land, if that seemed to be part of our lot, can we do anything with it? And apparently the answer is no. All right, well, put a wall, put a anything. No, we can't do that. Okay, so what do we have to work with? We have just the boat itself. Can we do anything on the dock? Because that would be cool. Can we put a nice little chair sitting out on the dock? Nope. So all we have, however big the lot may or may not be, the only thing we can do anything with is the actual um, foundation for the boat. So good to know. Now it's possible that we can go into this lot in world edit view. Hmm. I wonder if we could add trees and things to it before we've turned it into a lot. Maybe. Anyway, that'll be for the next one. So what have we got different for houseboats? I don't have a clue. They have given us a trash can, a little trash can here, and the big industrial one sitting outside. Okay. We have lights on the dock. We have our little entranceway. That is a mailbox. So houseboats have got fancy mailboxes. I wonder if we can exchange that for the others doesn't look like it and this oh this is what we steer with 
I wondered where we were going to find those. I thought, is that going to be under vehicles, under electronics? I guess it's just an auto thing that you get uh, when you get a houseboat. So what are we going to do? What kind of style do we want? Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. So one thing I did notice, this little like uh, walkway around them seems like a really good idea because washing your windows outside, you know, in from swimming in the water sounds like no. Not no. <laughs> It wouldn't be the way I'd want to do it anyway. So, with our walls, um, <coughs> and how much room do we want to leave? And do we want a patio out front? We put that up on top, though. That seems to be sort of the natural thing. Now, we could do one, one block around wide, or we could do two. We'll do two for now. I don't know how cramped and crowded this is going to be. This is going to be a very different way of building because you got to pay some attention to making everything really compact and very, very tidy. So, and you know, some of the ones we looked at, the one guy had the big hot tub in front. That's kind of cool. And we, and we could do that. We could leave a space in here for a porch. I got to tell you, most of the houseboats I saw, although I don't like the hot tub idea. Most of the ones I saw really take advantage of, you know, just about every little square foot of space. I mean, a lot of the the um, the walls were like right up to the edge, especially in front. And you stepped off the dock, you know, the door the door was right there. You knocked and you if the door had opened, you would walk straight in, just right at the dock, like right right here at this level. I think I'd like to have a little more space kicking around, so I'm not going to do that just yet. So, you know what? We have some choices here on the bottom. I am going to just put on a floor of some sort real quick. Because I'm not, I don't have a family in here. I'm just building at this point. I just want to see what it's going to be like. And we would need stairs going up. Um, I noticed a lot of them. I don't know if you caught that in the recording. They were having like double wide stairs. Uh, no. And um, to me, that sounds like a, a lot of, oh, this is new. Okay, I think the new items are this blue. Now there are these blue ones and there are, there's another pack, another expansion pack that's got, um, the blue and the, the little you know the little green guy and the blue is almost the same but this one seems to have like a dark ring around it so what are these tiled well we already know I love those because I have built these before on my own mood stairs every sim dreams of one day growing up and owning the kind of stairs that may be used in the local aquarium that's why we've made lighted mood stairs with easy installation an immersive let's go look at the sharks first kind of mood oh my god well I have no idea what that's going to look like but okay I think I want to see <laughs> so it will go there it will not go there and why is that exactly and is that just a houseboat thing that you need a certain amount of space around the upstairs I wonder well let's put it in and find out what happens that's a long ways out though. That's a lot of wasted space. I'm not liking that. So why is that happening? Hmm. Well, if we put it out far enough, we could use the space behind it. And you know what, let's just stick it in the middle. If it's going to be that way, we'll just we'll just go with it. We will stick it here in the center. Does that look like it's in the middle? We got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're just gonna put this right here, and we'll use the space on either side for rooms. We'll just use the uh, the stairs as a room divider. Now I wonder if it has anything to do with that particular kind of stairway. You think? No, that's all we get. Okay, well you know what? We'll just go with it. We'll see what happens later going to put a door in. Is there anything new here? Fancy for your door. Oh, look at that. How pretty. No kidding. Let's check that out. Lovely. 
Is that a good houseboat door? Oh god, that is a pretty thing though, isn't it? Um, I like it. <laughs> what else do we have? There's got to be new, new, new. This one? Yeah, I saw that on one of the doors, I, or on one of the houseboats. I really liked it. I thought that was kind of lovely. And then all the many downloads I have. What is that? Nature's Pass, double door. Mm, I don't think that's going to work out for me this time. That's just an older one. And what is it? Sliding bouquet. I've still not found a place to use this. You know what? i got to stick this in 11 gargoyles. We could use that as the secret door. I like that. What is this? Crazy zebra door? Hmm. See, that is lovely, but I think I'm just going to go with a single door for this one because I've got the staircase in the middle, and that that's going to, you know, I like a certain amount of balance. Let's just go with that. That'll do for now. So is there anything that's going to be particularly different about these in terms of building? Um, I mean, so far, it's, it's looking pretty much same old, same old, right? Now, again, do we want a little patio up here of some sort? I could put a toilet there, make them small. Hmm. And again, I'm going to leave some space around. It's really, really cutting into our living space. But, you know, you keep thinking, like, how are you going to clean the windows? I mean, what if you need to go out there for something? It just seems, you yeah. know. I mean, there's ladders, but, yeah. And how many stories do you want to go up? I mean, seriously, are we going to get into a place where the boat is so top-heavy that it's just going to fall over in the first wind? <laughs> No, that wouldn't be a really good idea, I'm thinking. So we can fill that up. And up here, now I'm, I'm just going to go this high. I don't know if you can go any higher. You know what, let's just find out. Let's just put something down. Whoops. And how high up can we go? That will be worth finding out, right? So far, so good. Okay, you made up a lot of layers. What is this? Freaky. Mm. Auto roof off, which doesn't always help remove all roofs. Okay. And how high can we go? Okay, so this is just going to let us go as crazy as we think we can get away with, isn't it? Yeah. Can you see that boat getting very far before a good stiff wind blew it away? <laughs> in this houseboat with this massive rudder going down for miles and miles and miles because it's the only way to keep it afloat. <laughs> and you know, I can't help but wonder, I know nothing about houseboats. I discovered, you know, that I am crazy in love with houseboats. Well, I've always had the idea that I would be, but I always pictured them on big, slow-moving rivers or, you know, on a lake. But, no, yeah, lakes are kind of boring. Lakes are just a great big old hole with water in them. I like the ocean because I know the other side of it is always someplace else, and that's fun. And I love rivers because they're always heading off to someplace new. Like, a river is just always going somewhere, and I love that. Um, but... But I don't know anything about houseboats. I mean, absolutely nothing. I don't know, you know, how seaworthy they are. They can you actually take them out if you were on an ocean dock? Can you do anything with them? Can you actually drive them places? Because <laughs> I, yeah, I have no idea. So I'm going to make that the the whatever you call the driving room. Don't you just love my nautical terms? I gotta find out some stuff about houseboats. This this is like a project for me now. I gotta find some stuff. So I'm going to put a spiral staircase. Now I noticed that there is a ladder in here somewhere. Not that I know where it is. Right there. Look at that. Um, that you can put, you know, to climb up, and it it puts a hole up top. 
but can you imagine if you had this thing out on the water somewhere and a big storm comes in or the wind's blowing or it's raining and you've got to go upstairs and the only way to get from down in the kitchen to up and drive the heck out of here is to be climbing up a ladder you know water's coming in mm, I'm thinking not so much now in here it might be okay because this would actually come up into this is actually going to come up into the place where we're driving so as long as we have a roof on this that's actually all right I think all the ones I saw were outside and I kept thinking yeah but I'm in the living room and I climb a tower or I climb a ladder it's like no but that might be okay or we just put in a spiral staircase because we're wimpy people <laughs> who, who don't want to climb the ladder <laughs> um, the ascent of the sims so that that's be another one of these I guess um, what kind would look good on a houseboat well I don't yeah, those are so cute. And, oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Kind of like it. Hmm. I kind of do, actually. It takes up more room, and I don't like it that the space underneath it is probably unusable, though. On the other hand, it's really cute. Okay, you know what? Let's just leave it. We can fix things. This is not written in stone, right? So windows. We want lots and lots of windows. Let's put some of those in because this is getting kind of hard to see anyway. Let's grab that. Hello. Have we crashed? <gasps> Ooh, I had a scary moment there. It's like, no, don't do this to me. And I can't do that because I have stairs there. But... Maybe we'll have one on either side because the stairs are going to be a dividing area. I'm going to put walls around them too, I think. And then we'll have, you know, maybe like a public area here and this will be the private ba the private bedroom. So you can go out into the balcony without having to go all the way around the stairs, right? Or maybe, you know what, maybe, 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 we will put in just a half wall on this side. Um, actually, the other side. We'll put in a half wall here and make that sort of the public area because that's where the stairs are going. And then this side will be where the bedroom is. Or a bedroom or two bedrooms. I don't know what I'm going to be able to fit in here. but Windows. I need some light. Let's get some windows. What do we have new? Anything new? Classy, no, that's not a new one. Wrong color. Yeah, so if any of you know things about houseboats, feel free to share. Or if you've got some great website that, you know, really tells you something about houseboats, that will be cool too. Do we have no new windows? This one? No. Really? Is that the wrong little colored? Duda there. Yeah, I'm not. Um... Okay, that would be pretty. <laughs> Come on, that might be awesome on a houseboat. Oh, look at this. Quite artistic. Hmm. Makes me feel like I want to change the doors, though. And how would that actually look kicking around all the way? I don't know that's not that might not be bad I don't know I don't know I like that I will be using that again for a houseboat somewhere but I don't think it's this one I don't think it's going to be this one motel quality <gasps> window blinds oh my god how cool is that motel quality yeah that's pretty amazing stuff <laughs> And we have a peppermint porthole. I just gotta make that candy store. Maybe I should make the candy store here on the island instead of um, instead of in um, Larkindale. Those are cute. That's kind of cool, but they don't look like they're gonna let in a lot of light. And I just want tons and tons and tons of light. So I 
<laughs> well, I had a live stream today. We played some Minecraft. Um, I gave a bit of a preview to those of you who may end up um, wanting to be on the server for what your event, what you'll be facing when you when you join us. So. See, now, I don't know. that I always like the way that looks because you just feel like you're in this big, lovely greenhouse. But you'll be steering through all these little window panes. I don't know. Is that a good idea or just seriously annoying? I don't know. How will that look? Well, it always looks kind of fun, but yeah, I don't know. We will need more doors. Hello. At least the whole rounded top sort of kind of sort of fits. Although I'm thinking we have a door that fits these windows, don't we? Ah, oh, well, we'll just do this for now. This is good. So um, on top here, we don't want to be falling off when we're, you know, having friends over to drink or things like that. So is there something new for that? I wonder. There's not a lot of new objects in this uh, fence by the beach. Oh, is that ever pretty. I don't know if that's a good choice for a houseboat, but it is lovely. Oh. Okay. Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong button here. Oh, come on. You, did I plant myself right beside a nuclear power plant? Seriously? <laughs> Hmm. Well, I'd have to change the color of that because I'm not crazy about that combo, but anything else that's new? Oh, look, surfer dudes are us. It's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, do we want this to be that kind of a person? I'm thinking not with those windows. This is somebody who's a little more classical who's moved out to live on a houseboat and write a book yeah i like it so is that it those are the only new ones and this one a serious fence oh my god that okay that's a really serious fence i think that's a little too serious so somewhere in between here um Blimey, I think. Oh, okay, what, what, what? It's just, it's wood, it's white. I suppose it would fit with the, uh, the white on the windows without having me having to change all of the colors. <laughs> Whoops, no, 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 don't go there. Now, see, I've already messed up. I put in all those windows. And I do not have a walkway around the top of this. So here comes the part where you go, okay, how much work do I want to put into this? Now we have choices. We could just do this and make it a little walkway. Be a little bit of a cover, shelter, you know, in the storms and stuff when you're down below. Actually, that that's all right. That doesn't look too bad, does it? This is the lazy way. The other option, of course, was simply remove the walls and windows and the stairs so I couldn't just click and grab it over and drag it over because the stairs are there so let's go with lazy I can do lazy although I think I would want to make two here just so we've got a little bit more um, a little bit more leeway now do we fence it all in Well, the one thing I think I'm noticing here is there's just not a whole lot of difference in building here, except for the fact that you have to pick, what do they call them, ports, and um, put the size and shape of your, your houseboat down. I'm not seeing anything else that's particularly different in terms of building this. Now here, oops, 
So here's another place where you could do that. So if somebody's standing around knocking on your door in the rain, I mean, if you've got the space, you might as well be nice, right? Did I do a second one over here? I did not. Okay, well this is starting to have some possibilities and of course we'll want just, uh, I will be changing that floor. I, I just grab whatever is easy and convenient to, ah, no, 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 no. It's going out too far because we've got the things underneath. So just like that. And grab our fence again because I'm thinking, hey, a roof is just space I can use, right? So we'll put that there and um, either put in another staircase, maybe just like that one on this side. Not there, though. Not in front of the windows, girl. That's you. <coughs> Um, turn your little heart around. Is there any chance? No, that would be stupid. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you what I was about to say. And for those of you who caught it on your own, just hush. Just say it. So now if we go up the stairs here, now the problem with this is this is open to the outside. So in that really bad rainstorm, the rain's just going to come pouring in right here where we're trying to drive, short out our electronics. Yeah, no. So here's the place where you might want to do something like remove that. Hello. Catch up. I have to get a new computer someday. You know, when I'm rich and famous. If we do this, then here we can put they were in here. Can we run one of these through? Oh, we can. Just like that. Yeah, I like it. So there's a good place for one of these. So you know what? If this weather's perfect and we're just hanging around the dock, it gives us another whole level without, you know, adding extra height and weight up there to dump the boat on a windy day. So, anything new and different anywhere? The fencing didn't seem to be too much. Are there new trees? I always like new trees. I know, you would have never guessed, right? I know. Um, nothing? Oh, oh, here we go. What's this? Uh, something I can't pronounce, but it's pretty. Green, leafy, and short and stout. Very cool. So there's one, um, I don't think those are, are they? Maybe another palm, mangrove, nice, magnolia tree, my, my, my. Okay, some new palm trees, Parent paradise, the queen's palm. So we do have some new foliage to look forward to playing around with. Oh, look, we have flowering plants too. I like it. Oh my gosh, that's lovely. We could have a whole rhododendron garden. I'm in. <laughs> this is good. I'm going to look at um, objects and see if there's much new in there. Not much there. Um, you would think there'd be something very, what is this? The all-in-one bathroom. This water closet is truly closet size. Hygiene and bladder. <laughs> so it's the little ones that are in a trailer where everything's stainless steel and you, you can go in and go to the washroom and then just turn the shower on and clean everything out, including yourself while you're in there. Well, that would be, um, that would be really tiny. That might make a really nice second bathroom in something like this. So if you're way up top, you don't have to go all the way down or... You know, if you're, oh, if you're steering the ship, that might be a nice little extra something to put in here for emergency use. I don't know if that's the only one I'd want around, though. That seems a bit, 
What is this stuff? Oh, that's um, something I downloaded. Um, that one's the one there again. Okay, not, not too much here. Ooh, what do we have? The perfect warm hot tub. More hot tubs are always good. Yeah, these are pretty. Maybe, you know, we might have to help can reconsider the whole room for a hot tub thing. It just, maybe. Appliances, probably nothing new there. That's, you know, that's pretty standard stuff. I'm not seeing a lot. Not even a new barbecue for the water. I'm disappointed. <laughs> new desks. I'm always into desks. I'm going to put a, a lady here who writes or who wants to be a YouTube star. I'm just going to make an alter ego for me and stick her on this boat. I think so. Hmm. Not, not too much new in, in a lot of this stuff, is there? Nothing new for dining on the island. Oh, there's one. It looks like a big dinner tray. <laughs> because we need something very small for this. I mean, we, yeah, we've got a lot. I guess there's no real need for anything new. Um, now, we had seen a bench or something, right? That was, yeah, surfer dude. We're going to have to make a beach bum surfer, dude. Absolutely. A travel tent? Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's all bagged up for you and everything. Okay, I like that. That's going to be something fun to do. And maybe, you know what, maybe, has that always been there? I don't think so. That's the right color, eh, with the little blue around? <laughs> Nothing island themed here. Not a lot of new objects, but you know what? Oh, I know what, what there would be boats, right? Look at this boats. We have windsurfers, a mooring cleat, okay, mooring post. We can take our boat to other places. A paddle boat, row boats, the little swan, Slade the Indomitable. I like it. Okay, these are brilliant. Oh, sailboats. I like it. There's little speed boats. Okay, these are cool. This will be fun. For sure. And I haven't looked at this in a while. Magic Room Stand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we totally need one of these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm thinking, oh goodness gracious, are you kidding? This is... Mm-hmm, yeah. We're getting one of these. <laughs> I don't know where it's going to go yet, but we are so getting one of these. <coughs> oh yeah, look at that. Okay, that's fun. I can't wait. Yeah, I, I gotta have this. This, this is just, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Anything new here? Uh, computers by the sea? No. Audio, anything new for partying? Nope. Miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Well, I, you know what? We'll just, we'll save this. Um, can I save this? Go into Edit Town. And is there anything? I want to see the boats um, that are a different shape. Let's pick this. Put in uh, one of these. Narrow, wide, I don't know. One's longer than the other. Let's put in one of these. I just want to see what they look like because, yeah, you got to see what they look like. Oh my goodness, yeah, that can be awesome fun too, can it? So probably you can only build on this section. Can you put things down on the other section though? 
Can we grab a chair of some sort? We can't do anything in the front. And we can't do anything on the dock. Mm. That's, yeah, that's too bad. That would have been fun. <laughs> so anyway, there you have it. Building a houseboat is basically, you know, just going, finding one of these ports. No big deal. Uh, picking the size of the houseboat you want to put on it. Realizing that no matter what the size of the actual lot says it is, there's just, you know, all you can do is whatever is in the houseboat. So port plenty. That says great size. The only thing you get to play with is this stuff. Now, I suppose if you say no houseboat, does that mean, where is it, which one? We just did this one? No. Oh, no, so nothing happens at all if you haven't put something in it. Okay. So then it'll be these other lots that go out partly over the water, like this kind of thing. That will allow you to build over because there's no port there. So that's really it. The rest seems very straightforward. You're going to get your little driving thing automatically with the boat. Um, walls are walls, windows are windows. There's a few new objects, not a whole lot of them. But um, yeah, this could be fun. We could just make this into a big resort town or something. And I get to make a ton of houseboats. I like that part. So anyway, I'm done. I'm, uh, I'm kind of tired. It's been kind of a long day and it's been a long week as most of you already know. So I'm off to finish a glass of wine and go play some Minecraft. Or maybe I should just go to sleep. I haven't had a lot of sleep lately and I'm feeling really sleepy right now. So anyway, thank you so much for being around. Leave the like, leave your comments, subscribe if you haven't. And now we have Larkin Dale to create and we've got a new island to play in. So that's going to be very cool. And I've had a few requests for families. I'll be making them and setting you off to go swimming. So until I see you next time, choose to live your life happy, make that decision, and always build it beautiful. Bye-bye.